I'm not sure I turned the camera on yet today, but uh, we spent the morning just puttering around the house. I wound up some more balls of yarn, got another project ready. Not that I'm finished with the one I'm working on yet or anything and don't have another one lined up after that already, but you know. I paid bills. He paid bills. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, we're going to go drop off an Amazon return. And if I can, I'm going to talk him into stopping by the yarn shop and pick up a couple mini skeins to add to my collection. And just kind of putter around and go find some place to go get some steps in and then later on we'll be headed over heading over to the airport late tonight later tonight to go pick up my father and there's a configuration convention of people at the end of the street um configuration convention i don't know anyway we'll be back so um we stopped at for yarn's sake they are a local little yarn shop. I will link their website down below. They do have one and they do do mail order. They have pretty good deals on natural fiber yarns. And I just went in to get some mini skeins. These were $8.25 each. And they are by Dream and Color. And these are Smushy Minis. And they're uh, 100 yards each. And they're 50, let's see, I don't have my reading glasses on. I know, not smart. 85% superwash merino and 15% nylon. And they're really fun to work with. They are on the thin side for crocheters, but I do usually pair them up with something else. And I got these ones. So it's within the budget right now to add to the collection. So I did, you know, like when I first bought um, a lot, my, a lot of my watercolor paints, I had a budget and I would go in with like $20 or $30 to the art supply store and sometimes only come out with two tubes of paint, but that's how I added to my collection. So this is what we have at the moment. Obviously I was into the greens today. I don't know why, but anyway, we're going to go stop at the mall and not because we need to buy anything, but just to walk around and see what we can see and all of that stuff, get some steps in. So anyway, all right, that's it for the minute. And yeah, we're in the truck because we like driving the truck. Why wouldn't we? I'll be back. It is Monday afternoon. I haven't vlogged before now because just because <laughs> dad went home this morning after breakfast and he got home just fine. He's probably on the way to Seattle airport right now because one of my nieces and her wife went with him to Italy and my sister and her and her husband and like all that stuff. Um, and they are flying in tonight. I think they land at like 430 or something, which is like an hour and a half anyway, because it's just before three. Um, I've been crocheting all day and working on my sweater, coming along very nicely. I also got the 2024 calendar for downstairs um, set up and that's ready to go. I am now um, getting ready to edit the vlog because that's gotta be done. And you, we all know how much I love editing, yeah. Anyway, let's get to it. It's not going to do itself. I'll okay, be back. Vlog is edited and saving at the moment, and as soon as that's done, I'll get it uploaded. And I'm going to go back to watching YouTube and crocheting while that's happening. It's a noise. Oh, it's a computer. <laughs> anyway, uh, so yeah, it's all good. I'll be back. So. November 7th. I haven't done much today because, yeah, babysitting. But as soon as he goes home, I'll be working on my sweater, my crochet project. That's, I'm just blank over there. He's finally sound asleep. Trying hard not to wake him up. Okay, I'll be back. 
Hey guys, I've got my coat, my blanket coat I made a few months back on. I've got some reflective straps on. We call them the squish me straps, as in please don't squish me while I'm walking in the dark. Mr. Bob's got his on too. We're going to go for a quick walk before we have dinner. And yeah, my arms are sore, not from crocheting, my shoulders from picking up Junior. <laughs> so, I think he's like 20... I say 25 pounds, but I actually think he weighs more than that. His dad said something like 27 pounds. So anyway, yeah. All right, I'll be back. Good morning, everybody. It is Wednesday. I almost said September. <laughs> you guys. Uh, November 8th. I think it's the 8th of November. And it is 11.20 a.m. I'm like an hour or so behind. Leaving the house to get Aaron's run than anticipated. You know, stuff happens sometimes, right? And I'm of an age that, you know, sometimes the best thing I can do for myself in the morning is not rush, sit, have my coffee, take some Tylenol arthritis, <laughs> and let it kick in before I leave the house. Especially after a day where I've been babysitting little Junior. And uh, yeah, so anyway, this morning I woke up and my hip joints were bothering me. So, Tylenol arthritis, yes. Anyway, um, I don't like to take pain pills. Fun fact, I really don't take them often at all. And I usually live with the pain unless it's bad enough that I just can't, so yeah, anyway. If it inhibits me from getting up into the art room, that's an I just can't. So I take a pill. Anyway, that was a joke, people. Uh, anyway, we're going to go get some gas and then we're going to run some errands. I've got to check the P.O. box. By the way, if y'all want to send me some happy mail or products to try or anything else, <coughs> I do have a P.O. box. The address is down in the video description. So, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to go check it and I'm going to go pick up some things for family dinner night. I think I'm going to just do it today rather than having to go out again on Friday. I'm running low on oat milk again, so I'm going to go get some of that. And yeah. So everybody's discovered I have oat milk in the fridge all the time. My dad's lactose intolerant, so when he's down, he'll try oat milk and like his oatmeal and stuff. And Jenny, adopted daughter Jenny, um, will have it in her coffee um, when she's in town or at my house. And yeah, so just, plus I like to drink coffee. And when Bob was gone, I drank too much coffee. So yeah, so I need just about 6.30 p.m. And when I was out earlier today running errands, I had no idea we were having extra company for dinner on Friday. So we are. Uh, adopted son Brian's dad and his partner are going to be here. Great. But we need a couple extra things for that. So uh, the rest of my day was spent, as you can hear, doing chores, working on the last load of laundry. Um, dishes are working and um, working on my sweater. And so my goal is to finish the ribbing around the bottom tonight and then hopefully sometime between tonight and Friday night, I can fit, I can get the sleeves done. That would be amazing. Or at least by Monday. Yeah, because I'd like to start on the next thing. I know, but I'd also like to wear the sweater. So there's that. Anyway, and I don't think I told you guys that I was looking for a denim dress um, to add to my wardrobe, and I just really didn't want to buy anything new. I, thought, I must be able to thrift something. It might be the wrong time of year for that, but I did stop at Goodwill and Value Village on the way out, and I found something right away at Goodwill. It's going to need some altering. It's a couple sizes too big for me, um, but I don't want it super tight anyway. 
but yeah, it's going to work out just great when it's done. So anyway, Mr. Bob and I are going to go run to Safeway and I'll be back. back in my closet again because this is where the good full length mirror is. But I'm working on my sweater tonight after Junior went home. Um, we babysat a kill horse again today and um, family dinners tomorrow. So I wasn't sure when I was going to have time to uh, work on this sweater. And my goal is really to get it done. If I can get it done tonight, I will. And I might be able to do that. Mr.'s at his Masonic Lodge meeting. And yeah, so, and I'm so excited. I got one sleeve done. You guys, I just have one more sleeve to go. It is so cute. Oh my gosh. I love this pattern so much. I I'm going to be making myself more sweaters out of it. This is sweater number two. But anyway, hang on. Let me turn the... Oh, excuse me. Wow, a chill. Let me turn the camera around so that you can um, get a better shot. Hold on. Here we go. This is the next version of this sweater. Oops, round yoke sweater pattern helps if I actually show you the picture. I'm just so happy with the sweater and how it's turning out. I am, again, doing it with short sleeves. I am making notes this time because obviously I'm going to use this pattern again. I really do like the short sleeves. That doesn't mean I won't ever make it with long, but I like the short. And yeah, so cute. What do you all think? All right, I'll be back. So happy with how it's coming out. I said that already, haven't I? Um, okay, so time to not leave it in here <laughs> in the bedroom. Sorry, lights are out. Um, and finish the other sleeve while I watch weird YouTube. I don't, I just put things on in the background podcast or something. And I just listen to stuff I can listen to while I concentrate on this. All right, let's get to it. It's about 1030, a little echoey because we're in the bathroom at, in my, bed, the master bathroom. Anyway, um, it's about 1030 ish. Bob is on his way home from his meeting it's done! Yay! I'm so happy. I like it so much. Okay, hold on. Let me put it Hang on. on. What do you think? I really like it. Now, I just have my babysitting pants on and babysitting hair, but this is cute. Phone moved on its own. I swear I didn't touch it. Anyway, I really like this. Yes, I will be making more of them. Ugh. What do you all think? All right, I'll be back. Hey guys, um, it is 3.39 p.m. Friday, November 10th. Don't get excited, the iPad's in front of me. Spent the morning catching up on some chores and relaxing because my arthritis is bothering me. Uh, of course, I'm of an age, I have arthritis all over the place. Funny enough, not my hands. My hands aren't bothering me. Uh, my hips, my knee, uh, my back. Um, partly arthritis, partly babysitting junior. So, you know, I'm just taking it easy today. It is family dinner night tonight. Um, I am working on a hat with some of the leftover yarn from my sweater I finished yesterday. And I've paired it with some white um, wool. Uh, let's see. It, the colored yarn is up by Madeline Tosh. And the color is What's Up Beach. And they have it in twist light and also um, superwash merino. And I have happened to have that color in both. So I did the sweater in the twist light because that is a, it's, it's at one yarn. It's very thin and it's got nylon in it. It's not 100% wool because um, it's probably supposed to be for socks. It's not what I made with it, um, but it would be really good on a sweater because nice and stretchy, right? But I do have one ball of the merino, so I'm making myself a really cute hat with it. And I paired it up to bulk it up because it also is a thin yarn. I paired it with Cascade 220, which is a, before I say, yep, 100% Peruvian Highland wool. And um, I love it. And the two together look great and I'm almost done with the hat so um yeah so anyway I'm gonna just um spend a little bit more time up here working on this and then I do need to manage my way down the stairs and go start getting ready for dinner so I'll be back you know I'll be back I'm always back all right I'll be back. Good morning. It's about 9.15 a.m. on Saturday, November 
or 11th, I think. Um, Bob is off at the Masonic Center here in Oregon, and he's helping with some um, repairs. And um, I'm not sure if he's doing electrical or they're painting or I don't know. Anyway, I have most of the day to myself. So although it is stormy and windy outside, I am going to go run a couple of crafty errands. So I need some yarn for some particular projects and I want to make myself a pair of gloves. I need some more white wool though. And also I want to um, work on a project for um, Christmas for somebody. So I need yarn for that. Um, it does require going to two different places to get the best deal, but that's okay. And um, I do have a coupon for the thrift store, but I'm not sure I'm going to go there or not. So we'll see. Anyway, let's get some shoes on and let's get to it. I'll be back. We're back. Um, so I went to um, Joanne's Fabrics and I went to the one a little bit farther away in Beaverton um, because I knew they were having yarn on sale. I knew I wanted to get some special yarn for a Christmas gift. I did walk out with extra yarn, but not too much. Um, they had Lion Brown yarn, buy two, get one free. I think it was what the sale was. So I got three skeins of fisherman's wool in this really pretty like tan color and then three skeins of woolies in that color it's not pretty that's for the christmas gift and then um was you know doing really well i thought controlling myself then i went to craft warehouse because i needed one skein of um yarn to finish a project i'm working on for myself i needed some Ca cascade 220 uh, wool and I got the super wash just because it's a similar color wool to the regular 220 on the Hank um, Similar thickness. I'm gonna pair it up with something else if it's it, it is a little bit thinner, but it's not gonna make any difference um, But I don't have to wind it in a ball <laughs> I'm lazy. Anyway, it's a really good thing. I I only came out with one because I didn't even know until I was checking out that it was 40% off Uh, it was so hard not to go back and buy more wool, but I didn't. Anyway, we are home now, and I am going to um, sort out some of the leftovers from last night and put some of the meat, extra meat in the freezer, and I need to empty the dishwasher, you know, do chores before I sit down and work on projects. I'll be back. I am done for the day. I've been crocheting all afternoon. Um, when we went out today, I, um, I, I you know, y'all know I went to Joanne's first and I specifically wanted to get some yarn for a Christmas gift. We're doing Secret Santas this year and um, the girls all exchanged names and the boys all exchanged names. So the girl I got, I wanted to make her something. So I found... Uh, Lion Brown Woolies Fair Isle. I have to tell you all, I am kind of in love with this yarn. I love the colorway. Um, I got three of them in the same. This one, you can see the blue is not buried in the middle. There's a little tiny bit of blue. It reminds me of like cloudy, stormy sky days. Um, 
And I already finished. This is what's left over out of ball two. I did get three because they were buy two, get one free. I probably have enough to make myself a beanie or a scarf or something. So not mad about that. But the gift is done. Um, and I also picked up a yarn I've been hearing about. And I've, I've known about it, but I haven't picked it up. But I got some now. I got enough to do a, probably a sweater. Lion Brand Fisherman's Wool. I haven't gotten it before now because I just thought it just only came in, you know, the standard cream colored sheep color. Um, but I found this tan color that I really liked. It doesn't come in a lot of colors, but this one was pretty nice. It would be a nice yarn to do. Oh, maybe try some fancy stitches. I'm not great at that, but maybe. I also realized I probably have just enough blanket yarn to do a bee for adopted daughter Jenny. She really loves my giant bee on Amigurumi downstairs, so she would like one, so I'm gonna make her one. Uh, and let's go look at the Christmas gift, because it's done. The pattern is called a Mood Snood, and I will link it down below. I have made it once before for myself, and it's a really great circular scarf. And the person I made it more I think for, I think is gonna really like it. And the colors, let me take it off, I'll show you what the colors look like. I mean, what's my hair going to get messier? Hello. <laughs> but the colors in that yarn, that fair, look at that. I didn't do anything special with it. That's just how it came out. The only thing I did was when I had to join the second ball to the first ball, I made sure that the end I picked had the same colors in it as the ending ball, first ball, so that the kind of stripey thing would keep going. We wouldn't look weird and confused because I look like that without being, without trying. Anyway, I love this yarn. Yeah, I can see getting more of it. I'm going to have to go to the Lion Brown website and see what other colors it comes in. It wasn't super expensive. Um, I only went to Joann's to buy it because it was on sale. Um, I would, yarn is pricey, you guys. I would definitely um, buy it when it's on sale. Now I did also get... I needed some white wool that I used to make the hat that I showed yesterday. Um, I want to make a pair of gloves. So I needed some more. I didn't have enough for the gloves. And that yarn's pricey too. But it's probably a good thing I didn't know it was on sale until I was checking out because it was 40% off, you guys. That little ball of yarn's normally like $12, $12.95, something like that. And I got it for six something. <laughs> Yeah, it probably is a good thing I didn't know that because I would have filled up a basket of yarn I don't really need. But yeah, that's a craft warehouse. There's not a lot of them. They're in the Pacific Northwest. But if you have one near you, they do have a really nice selection of yarns. They don't have a ton, but what they have is nice. So anyway, <laughs> it's raining outside. All right, I'm going to go downstairs and have lunch. And... um this is one of our guest rooms, by the way. Artwork by me. Um, lots of artwork for sale. So if you want some, go to my business Facebook page. There's, yeah, listings. Anyway, uh, I hope you guys have had a great week. Uh, Bob is back from helping out with some repairs at his Masonic Lodge building. And we are going to just sit and have some dinner. I'm going to rest. I've been resting my hip because, you know, the arthritis has been acting up and Today, I didn't have to take any pain pills or anything. It's still twitchy, but it's still, you know, you know, it's still, yeah, it's not good. Um, but it's a lot better than it was, and um, it's getting better. So give me a couple more days. I'll be fine. <laughs> anyway, that's it for the minute. We are babysitting tomorrow afternoon while the kids go out uh, with some of their friends. And, yeah, it ought to be a lot of fun, but that's for next week's vlog. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Um, check the video description for relevant links. I do have a Patreon. I appreciate the content to, um, appreciate the support. Um, it enables me to give you guys this free content here on YouTube. And I sure would appreciate that. I am trying to save off, save up to pay, pay off a couple of bills and I do need a new camera. Um, but I can't afford that right now, but I am trying to save up for that. So, um, and a couple of other things. So Patre Patreon, I would love if you join. And I also always have stuff for sale. At the moment, my Etsy store is still open. Um, there's not a lot in it. 
I'm thinking about closing it, but I haven't done that yet. But there is, like I said, some stuff for sale listings pinned to the top on my Facebook business page. And, you know, if you've seen something on social media that you might want to buy, send me a private message. My email is down in the video description, along with my happy mail address. If you want to send me happy mail, I sure would appreciate that. Um, yeah, and that's it. Like, share, and subscribe. And you know, the most important thing, go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. Go buy yourself a ball of yarn if you want a ball of yarn. Or for God's sake, have a donut because <laughs> life's too short. All right, I'll be back. See you next week. Bye, guys.